In this video, I'm going to talk about why and how people become creative entrepreneurs. But first, what do we mean by creative entrepreneur? Well, actually every entrepreneur is creative in the sense that they are constantly solving problems and outmaneuvering the competition, and this takes a great deal of creativity. But what we are talking about here, using the term creative entrepreneur, is somebody who is essentially creative in an artistic kind of way, and then combines that with business skills to make a living for themselves or to build an organization or a business. So I think that we can say a creative entrepreneur is somebody who combines creativity and smart business thinking to achieve both creative and commercial success. I should point out that creative entrepreneurship happens in non-for-profit organizations, in social enterprises, and in larger institutions that don't have a commercial aim as such. Nevertheless, they need to be financially sustainable. And so I'm using business in that very broadest of terms. And creative entrepreneurs and creative uh, enterprises and businesses can be very small or very large. At the large end, we have the, the Disney Corporation, started by Walt Disney, who was a cartoonist. And at the other end of the scale, we have the freelancers, whether they're photographers or um, ceramicists or designers. So creative entrepreneurship covers a huge range of different activities, but the essence is that people are essentially creative in some artistic way and then combine that with business skills to make things work in the way they want to. So why do people start um, to become creative entrepreneurs? It's very hard to generalize. There are no hard and fast rules, but I would say that in many, many instances, people's starting point is not business, but their creativity. They are passionate about something they can do well. They want to spend their lives creating uh, in one sense or another. And then they want to combine that with making a living for themselves and therefore they have to deal with the business side of things. And with creative entrepreneurs, I think that the, the mission, um, the culture, the lifestyle is important. In other words, yes, uh, money and financial sustainability is crucial, but it's not the, the be all and the end all, far from it. I think that people are usually motivated primarily by some creative talent or passion and then build a business around that. So how do people start? Well, I think young people very often start with friends, um, perhaps at school even or university or when they're in their young uh, working lives. And that might be a rock band, it might be some kind of cultural project, some theatre perhaps, or comedy. Um, it might be designing something or working in one of the many other fields or subsectors of the creative and cultural industries. I think the other way people start is by going it alone. In other words, they give up the day job and then uh, start their own businesses. So perhaps they've been working for some years in advertising or video making or website design uh, for a company as an employee and then at a certain point for particular reasons want to go it alone and so they set up as freelancers or perhaps a small company they may remain small or they might start employing people but again they've come to it out of um, regular employment and become entrepreneurs and then many other people take advantage of um, creative hubs and startup programs. So they are attracted to the idea of starting a business from their creativity or their talents and then they use the opportunities provided to them by creative hubs, particular business support schemes of various kinds around the world, um, accelerators and incubators that are there to help t uh, creative people set up their own businesses in a commercially successful way. And how do they become entrepreneurs? Well, I think that some people are forced into it actually. Uh, and in my country, the United Kingdom, there are statistics about how many people become entrepreneurs 
In other words, set up their own businesses or become self-employed. The harsh truth is that many people have to do that because they're made redundant or they lose their regular employment or the companies they work for prefer to use freelancers rather than employees. And so they're forced into a position where they need to register as self-employed or set up a small company. So they, you might say they're reluctant creative entrepreneurs at first, but many of them then learn the skills and become hugely successful. I think a lot of creative entrepreneurs would also say that they are what you might call accidental entrepreneurs. They, their motivation was to set up in business doing their creative thing or set up an organization or company. And then they had to deal with entrepreneurship um, by necessity. They had to deal with all that stuff, whether it's contracts, financial management, dealing with employees, talking to accountants, dealing with the tax authorities and all the business stuff that goes along with creative entrepreneurship. So they might have been uh, reluctant or accidental entrepreneurs again in the first instance. Some people then decide it's not for them, but many others go on and become much more efficient and organized and indeed successful as creative entrepreneurs. I think in that sense, um, there's a lot of learning on the job. I think many um, entrepreneurs in the creative and cultural sector didn't get a university degree first. You know, they went to university, if they did go to university, to learn about dance or design or photography or filmmaking or whatever is their artistic passion. And so they come at um, entrepreneurship from that angle rather than primarily from a, a business point of view. And therefore they have to learn about business on, you know, on the run, on the fly, um, as they go along. And I think combined with that is a certain amount of discomfort, particularly at the beginning, where people think, well, you know, I'm essentially a creative, I'm not a business person. Um, you know, I don't even want to be, see myself as a business person, perhaps, or although I'm doing business. And so, you know, sometimes there's a little bit of discomfort or uh, awkwardness in, you know, accepting and, and then initially, you know, eventually embracing the fact that they are indeed creative entrepreneurs, combining their creative talents with smart business thinking and achieving both um, creative and commercial success. So I would say that a creative entrepreneur, in conclusion, is somebody who combines creativity and business in a, a meaningful and purposeful and successful way. And that combination of creativity and business uh, is what I use the metaphor of t-shirts and suits for. T-shirts being the cool creative people, suits representing smart business thinking. So in that sense, creative entrepreneurship is all about t-shirts and suits and that combination of creative passion and talent um, connected with the methods and techniques of business.